two VT graphs, and we're going to try and figure out what these objects are doing. So let's look at the first one. First question, what kind of graph is it? A velocity time graph. It tells you how fast you're going at any given time. Let's look at the numbers. Okay, at zero seconds, uh, the number here is six. It's positive six. It's six meters per second. I'm running at six meters per second, which is really actually quite fast. And I'm going east because it's positive. At one second, I go up on the graph and I look over here, I'm going four meters per second. So I'm running forward because positive is forward or east in this case. So I'm running at 4 meters per second, which is a little bit slower, so I must be slowing down. Um, I go to 2 seconds, I go up here and across, I'm going positive 2 meters per second, so 2 meters per second that way. So I'm running at 6 meters per second, I'm running at 4 meters per second forward, and I'm running at 2 meters per second forward. I'm slowing down. So this is an object moving forward and slowing down. Well, let's look at the acceleration, which is the slope. If you take the slope of this, you can calculate it. We've done the slope a couple of times. The slope here... The slope here is going to be 6 minus 2, which is 4, divided by 2 minus 0, which is 2, and it's going to be a negative slope, so it's going to end up being negative 2. So what we can say is the acceleration of this object is negative 2 meters per second squared, which is 2 meters per second squared backward, and in this case, uh, because east is forward, we might as well put it properly, which is west. Does that agree with what we had in the first part? Yes, it does, because 2 meters per second squared west means we're accelerating that way. If I'm running forward, but I'm accelerating that way, it means I'm slowing down. And that's what this object is doing, it's slowing down. So the numbers told us that, and the uh, slope, which is acceleration, confirmed that. Let's look at this one here. This one, typically people give me the wrong answer when I put it on a test. Because they're so used to looking at DT graphs, position time graphs, and a horizontal line means nothing's really happening. But we've got to look at what this is. This is a graph that says how fast we're going at any given time. So I go to zero seconds, and I look up, I'm moving at three, positive three, so I'm moving three meters per second east. I go over here at two seconds. I look over, I'm still going three meters per second east. So I'm running forward at 3 meters per second east, uh, but I'm not getting faster or slower. Because even at 4 seconds, I go across, and I'm going at 3 meters per second. So I'm going 3 meters per second east. Let's check out the slope. Well, you already know that a slope like this is positive, a slope like this is 0, and a slope like this is negative. This is a horizontal line. The slope is 0. So in this case, the acceleration is 0 meters per second squared. I'm not speeding up. I'm not slowing down. The velocity is not changing. So this is an object not at rest, it's an object moving at a constant speed, 3 meters per second forward. Let's maybe do one more graph which is a little more complicated, and then I think we've done enough of velocity time graphs as far as slopes. Okay, we're going to look at this VT graph, which is velocity time graph, but um, I'm not going to do it with the exact numbers all the time. So let's take a look. This is a VT graph, and I want to describe what the object is doing. So let's start with our numbers. Uh, at zero seconds, we're at negative four. That means negative four meters per second. We're running backwards. The negative tells us backwards. And we're going four meters per second. So I'm running four meters per second backwards. Uh, at two seconds, I'm at zero meters per second. So I'm not moving. So I was running that way, west, because if that was east, this would be west. And then I'm now not moving. So I must have slowed down. This must be slowing down and stopping here. Okay, let's look at the next step. Four seconds, I go over up to here, and I'm going at four meters per second. So now I'm running to the right, I'm running east or forward at four meters per second. So I must have sped up because I wasn't moving and now I'm moving. Then I look from four to eight seconds. At four seconds, I'm running forward at four meters per second. At six seconds, I go over, I'm running forward at four meters per second. At eight seconds, I go up, I'm running forward at um, four meters per second. I must be running forward at a constant speed. So this is moving forward with constant speed. Let's see if the slopes confirm that. Well, the slope here is positive. Even though it's below the, the axis here, the time axis, it's still sloping up, so it's going to be positive. This slope here is going to be a number. Maybe it'll be 2, maybe it'll be 4. Whatever it is, it's a positive number, which means I'm accelerating this way. So that agrees with what I was doing. Here, the slope here is uh, zero, because we know the horizontal line, the slope is zero, 
And I said in this section, we're running at constant speed. If my acceleration is zero, that means I'm not speeding up or slowing down. That agrees with what happened. Let's take a look at from 8 to 16 seconds. At 8 seconds, I'm at 4 meters per second, so I'm running forward. At uh, 10 seconds, I go over here, maybe it's the number 3, whatever it is, it's less. I'm running slower. At 12 seconds, I go across, it's another positive number, so I'm still running forward, but it's slower. Until I get to 16 seconds. When I get to 16 seconds, I go over here and I'm at 0 meters per second. I'm not moving. So this is moving quickly and getting slower. Let's look at the slope and see what that tells us. The slope here is going to be a negative number. It could be easy to calculate. The height here is 4 and the run here is 8, so we can calculate the slope, but we get a negative number for the slope here. That means I'm accelerating that way. If I'm running forward, this person is going 4 meters per second forward, and at this time they're still moving forward. If I'm running forward and I'm accelerating that way, I must be slowing down. So in this section, you're running forward but slowing down. Okay? So that is about the most complicated VT graph we're going to have.